7.1% inflation report, the actual truth and what they're not telling you. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now earlier today, we got the very important CPI data release, otherwise known as Consumer Price Index, also referred to as the inflation report for last month. Have you seen the headlines showing up today saying inflation has gone down? Well, yes, on some items, inflation has gone down and prices are coming in a little bit. However, as we dig into this report, we can clearly see that a lot of the essentials and the necessities that many of us are buying on a very regular basis, prices are still rising. And that's what I wanna share with you here in this video, because as I've always said, it is my dedication to bring you the honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information. And that's what we're gonna dig into right here in this video so you can see what is really going on right now and what they're not telling you with these reports and the headlines. So let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so. And because I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you right by your side every single day, watching all this new information, hitting the wire, doing the necessary research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what's actually going on. And most importantly, how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, and of of course, anything popping up right now, you can possibly grab and or take advantage of. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And also remember, I am here for you in any way that I can be. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, that is my promise to you and everybody right here in the community. All right. Thanks again. Let's get into it and talk about the new CPI data release or the inflation report that was just released earlier today. And what this really means as we dig into the report, unlike all the people out there that are just saying, look, inflation went down a little bit last month. Okay, let's look into the report here because you're going to clearly see that the most, the majority of this inflation that actually went down as in prices have gone down are for the items that the vast majority of Americans are not even buying. And the things that we are buying, prices are still rising. Totally messed up. And why I've told you so many times in the videos leading up to this one, and every single month as we get these inflation reports, I say, we got to dig into the report and actually look at what is really going on because those essentials and the things that we're buying on a regular basis are still going up in price, but you never hear anybody talking about that, right? You only hear about the other things that are going down. So obviously earlier this morning, we got this uh, CPI data release and it came in at 7.1% as the headline number. Not too bad, considering the last month and the previous report we got a month ago came in at 7.7%. So you'd think, wow, from 7.7 .7 down to 7.1 on an annualized basis, looking pretty good. It went down another six tenths of 1%, right? Well, remember, this is on an annualized basis. So over the last 12 months, prices are still up 7.1%. So... I don't know, let me ask you, <laughs> is that a little bit concerning? Over the last 12 months of time, prices as a whole across the entire econo uh, economy on virtually everything are still up 7.1%. Yep, they still got a lot of work ahead of them. So this is not like a huge win by any means at all. Prices are still very, very elevated right now. In fact, the, re uh, the report also goes on to show that last month alone, prices still increased by 10, uh, sorry, one tenth of 1%. So 0.1%, so one tenth of 1%, prices still increased. That is, again, as a whole across the entire economy. Now, here's the thing. We got to dig into this because here's what they showed. With this report, they actually showed that prices on used cars last month went down. Prices on gas last month went down. Prices on airline tickets last month went down. Great, let me ask you this much. How many of you went out last month and bought a used car? I'm gonna go ahead and guess a very small percentage of people. How many of you went out and bought airline tickets last month? Again, I'm gonna assume a very small percentage of people. How many of us went out last month and bought gas? Well, probably a lot of people, but how many times did you fill up with gas? Did you fill up maybe once, maybe twice, maybe three times, maybe, maybe, maybe four times for a very small percentage of people? Most people don't fill up with gas that many times. You know, maybe three, maybe three times, maybe four uh, through the course of a month, maybe once per week. But that's probably really stretching it if somebody's uh, driving a lot. But most people probably only fill up with gas a couple times per month, right? So maybe every 10 days, something like that. Again, maybe three times a month for most people, right? All right, so we can clearly see prices have gone down on these items, okay. But again, like I said, are you buying a used car every single month? No. Are you buying airline tickets every month? 
Uh, probably not. If you are, let me know because I'd love to know <laughs> where are you going all the time and uh, maybe can I come with you? I'm just kidding. Anyway, my point is we're not buying these things on a very regular basis. However, as we dig into the report, here's what we can clearly see. Grocery prices. Okay, how many of us buy groceries every month? Well, I'm guessing most of us do unless you're prowling around in the woods and, you know, catching your own food. I'm guessing that's not really the case for most people. Maybe you are, and if that's the case, more power to you. Seriously, you're saving a ton of money these days. But here's the thing. That is not the case for the vast majority of people. Here's what's going on. Food prices increased another five, sorry, five tenths of 1% last month, okay? So this is on a month over month basis. Food prices on a year over year basis analyzed are just under 11% higher. So basically what this means is one year ago until today, prices on food are still up just under 11%, okay? Is that sustainable? <laughs> Not really. It's sustainable for the grocers. It's sustainable for the retailers of food, right? It's sustainable for them because they're getting a lot more profits out of all this, right? Um, but anyway, so that's what it's coming down to is we still saw grocery prices rise another five tenths of 1% or half of a percentage point last month alone. Now, again, on an annualized basis, just from last year until now, same time, prices on food are still up almost 11%. Even if we continued from today on, if prices on groceries still continue at a pace of say, five tenths of a percent on an annualized basis from now until the next year, it would still be annualized at a rate of 6%. That's still very high on food, right? So here's what else is interesting. Shelter prices, as in rent prices, right? So let me ask you this much. How many people rent in this country? Well, I'll just tell you, 36 million households in this country are renters. Do you think that's a little bit important? Yeah, probably. It's about one third of the population and one third of the, uh, the housing units in this country are rental units. So a lot of people rent. So we probably wanna pay attention to this metric. Now here's what's going on. They found that with this report just last month alone, rent prices went up another six tenths of 1%. So just a little bit over half of a percentage point over the course of the last one month alone. We're not talking on an annualized basis. This is per month. In just the last month, rent prices went up six tenths of 1%. Now on an annualized basis, again, rent prices are still up 7.2%. So again, remember, rent is also very expensive. So let me give you a quick example on this. So let's just say that rent, for example, and again, this is just an example. I know that prices are all over the board. I'm just using a nice round number here for example purposes. Let's just say that rent is $1,000. A 7.2% increase to rent on $1,000 would be $72, okay? So what does that mean for us? Well. It simply means that that's a lot of extra money on a monthly basis, right? That's like, what is that, $840 more for the course of the entire year? Because we're talking about such big numbers here, and that's just $1,000. What if your rent is $1,200 or $1,500? Now we're talking even more money, right? So even a 7% annualized increase on rent, it might not sound like a ton, but it really is because we're dealing with big numbers because rents are expensive, right? So when it comes down to it, really dollars and cents in your bank account and realistically going out the door, we're talking about a lot of extra money every single month and every single year. So yeah, this is a major problem. So here's the thing. These are the things that they're not telling you. How many people did you see come out today saying, Inflation went down, but uh, just kidding, uh, grocery prices and shelter prices still went up five tenths of a percent and six tenths of a percent. Have you heard anybody say that today? I'm gonna guess probably not. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe one or two people have said this. Maybe a couple people have talked about this, but I'm gonna guess the vast majority of people out there that are talking about this right now are discussing, oh, inflation went down. We're on our way to success. Yeah, okay. So used car prices are coming down. Airline tickets are coming down. Who cares? Seriously, who cares? It doesn't really matter. This does not impact the vast majority of people. And the people that are buying used cars and the people that are buying airline tickets can probably afford a little bit more. Who cares? That's my point, right? So we gotta look at the things that we're all buying. Food, shelter, things like this. So like I've said before in other videos, are you spending more money each month on airline tickets and gas and used cars? Or are you spending more money on a regular basis on food and shelter? I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's probably food and shelter because 
that's what most people are buying every single month. And whether you're traveling in uh, an airline, you know, buying an airline ticket, or maybe you're traveling in your new car, your your new used car, things like this, you're still buying shelter, you're still paying for food on a regular basis. So again, these are the things about these reports that I always want to break down to you because you don't always see the full picture. And when we get reports like this, you always need to read between the lines because there's not very many times that you see that the talking heads come out and talk about, oh, inflation's going down, but on the other hand, we're seeing this. And this is what's really going on. So again, the essentials are still going up. Meanwhile, the things that it, the discretionaries, as in, you know, airline tickets, that's totally discretionary, uh, are coming down or uh, coming down a little bit in price. So anyway, I want to bring this to report to you. As I said in the video last night, I said, as I get this report right away this morning, I'll come back to you, break it all down after I have a chance to dig through it and uh, kind of collect all that information. And here you go. Now, remember this much. The Federal Reserve also started their two-day meeting today. They'll be wrapping it up tomorrow. And uh, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, will be out tomorrow afternoon with the press conference, as well as the report or the announcement on interest rates tomorrow afternoon. 2 p.m. Uh, East Coast time. So again, tomorrow, I'll bring you an update on that one as well. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm here for you in any way that I can be. I always want to bring you the honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information every single day. I'm not trying to rattle the cage. I'm not trying to uh, disrupt anybody. I'm not trying to get anybody upset here. All I'm doing is I want to bring you the accurate information that a lot of these headlines don't actually share with you. So anyway, I truly want to help you out in any way that I can. Like I've always said, I want to continue advocating for you and do whatever I can because realistically, this is not a sustainable thing right now. What is actually going on with these prices going up is just not happening, especially for the low income and fixed income. It's not sustainable. We know this. We've talked about it so many times. Anyway, the reports that I'm reading on this also are showing the same thing. Oh, yet again, the low income and, in, uh, the low income and fixed income are getting hammered. Gee, you think? Yeah, we've been talking about this for a very long time now. Anyway, I'm here for you. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Have a good one, and I'll catch you again later in the next video.